guys, it's me JSHDIY. Speak, there has been so many new YouTube videos of recipes to make slime without glue or borax that have gone so viral. From Trim Trim No Glue Slime recipes that already have 15 million views to the brand new viral TikTok freezer hand sanitizer. We are going to be dedicating this video to be testing all of these recipes. So if you want to find out which ones work with me, just keep on watching. Today's notification squad shoutouts go to Vincent and Kaylee, Cute Crystal, Aisha, and also Elliot, Joseph, CJ. Thank you guys all so much for supporting my daily videos this week. I wanted for today's video to do a little giveaway of some hand sanitizer inspired slimes, hopefully to cheer up your COVID. So I made days. these little thick clear slimes and if you would like to win one or have me send you one all you have to do is just subscribe and comment hand sanitizer when you are I think done. I made six of these slimes because I wanted to keep the one I played with just so that you guys had fresh slimes but if you guys really like these and want a lot of people to be able to win them also give this a like and i can make some more of them it's super easy for me i've seen a lot of people commenting that if you take food coloring and put it in the freezer it will turn into slime after a little bit of time in the freezer so today we're going to be testing that out i'm going to be using yellow food coloring and blue food coloring and we're just putting it in this bowl and we are going to be putting this into the freezer and you're supposed to check on it i think every couple minutes just to make sure it's not freezing but apparently this is supposed to work and i actually some reason could see this working because i Feel like something about food coloring makes me think that it would turn into slime so after putting in the freezer for the first couple minutes it already got thicker as you guys can see there but i put it back in for a little bit more time and this time it was really good and i think this was about 16 minutes after being in the freezer so not super long but not super short too and i put it in for two more minutes and this is when i started being able to mix it and feel it clump together don't know what food coloring is based out of but it's kind of like this oily look so when i first did this i thought this was going to work and also food coloring is water soluble which made me know it's not like an oil obviously so i thought that maybe getting it cold would work and sure enough it did except for i was really worried to try to play with this with my hands because i really didn't want to stain my hands but i did it anyways and as you guys can see i did stain my hands a little bit this is my hands after washing it but i totally think you guys should try this out even with just like a drop of food coloring and put it in the freezer for a couple of minutes because it's very interesting let me know you guys why why this works and what food coloring and is made also out of. yes i did use a piece of slime to clean up all the food coloring and dye my slime and this was the color i got it was kind of like a matcha green color because there was yellow food coloring and green food kind coloring. of killed two birds with one stone because i got to clean up my mess and also transform this slime to this matcha color the next no glue slime recipe is when we're going to be testing out to turn old dried pieces of slime back into new slimes so we're going to be testing this hack or recipe out to see if this works i don't know about you guys but sometimes I forget a piece of slime out and it dries up into a little piece of dried slime. I don't know if this is just a me problem, but I do this a lot because I play with a lot of slime. But today we're going to be testing this out. So basically starting off, we are supposed to just take our dried piece of slime of whatever we're using. And we are supposed to add a little bit of water into the bowl. I added only a little bit of water into the clear slime because I figured it was only going to need a little bit of water, which was the blue one and then into the white one which was a school glue based slime i added in more water and then we were also supposed to add in some canola oil and we are supposed to put this into the microwave which you guys can see this is my slime microwave so there is a lot of old dried up slime just in the microwave already but we are supposed to put it into the microwave and we are just supposed to microwave it check on it and just continue this process until it starts to soften up but apparently the water and the canola oil are supposed to help transform the slime back into a new slime and kind of take it back to its original state so i continued to microwave it and over time it kind of bubbled up which meant it softened up a little bit but you guys can see this is what the school glue base slime looked like it was very soft but my blue clear slime was pretty hard but as you guys saw earlier i only added a little bit of water into the clear glue one because i was thinking it wasn't going to need as much water as the school glue one but it ended up kind of being the opposite because the clear glue which was the blue one was super hard so i had to add in a lot more water but the white glue one was actually kind of a little bit sticky and soft but basically this is what it looked like i kind of continued to microwave them and add more water into the blue one pop it back in the microwave and just continue to do that until it softened up but the school glue one 
actually turned out really good. It looks really sticky and there were certain parts that were not getting soft, but as I continued to mix it, the consistency of it kind of became a little bit more consistent and more like the original slime, which obviously I don't actually even remember what these slimes originally were like because they are so old and dried up. But as you guys can see, the blue clear one needed a lot more water and was not working out quite as well. So I just had to add more and more water and can continue to microwave it. It even would kind of bubble over. But the white glue one was really my best friend at this point because it was working out really well and the consistency was pretty good. Even though it was sticky, I could tell it was good. So I continued to microwave both of them, I think, and I would mix the white glue one up a lot until there is basically no chunks of dried slime. And at one point, I just took it out and I started to mix it. And this is when it just turned into complete, like, slime just like it used to be because there was no dried up slime like the more i would mix it the more thick it would get and it just felt like normal slime again which was very exciting and actually i feel like the texture of the slime was better than it probably was before it was so thick so stretchy and it was really good it felt different than just like mixing a slime together when like you're activating it and adding activator into your glue because there were certain parts of the slime that had like water on it so it was like softer in certain spots and then thicker in others so the more i would mix it the more consistent the texture became and as you guys can see it kind of ripped a little bit which was odd because the slime felt so thick in this weird way and also so stretchy but the slime weirdly enough was really really good and i really liked the white slime a lot and also you guys can see the slime is much bigger than the original little chip of slime that we were working with because obviously we added a lot of water which of course enlarged the overall size of our slime but on the screen right here you guys can see a little before and after which is kind of fun on the left of course we had the little chip of slime and then that is how it turned out but here was my blue slime which ended up taking i feel like three cups of water because sometimes the water would bubble over in the microwave because i had to microwave this one so much but i just think that the clear glue dries a lot harder especially when it in slime form but over time it did end up getting softer even though this one took so much time and you guys can see even the color was so much lighter because of just how much water i had to add but at this point i was kind of done with it so i just took it out and i started mixing it and it was super soft but i just couldn't believe how much slime we made with the amount of dried slime we had but i guess looking back at it the little chip of white glue slime was so small and we got like a pretty large slime out of it so considering how large the dried blue clear slime was i'm not surprised that it is this size and maybe i should have done it in a bigger bowl with a lot more water and that would have been quicker but this one definitely turned out well too but i don't think it's going to clear back up just because of how much mixing i did and just because I think that it was a little bit dirty, but this recipe to fix old dried slimes definitely works. And if you guys ever find an old dried up slime or accidentally leave one out, definitely try this out. It's really fun and your slimes actually turn out really good. The next slime recipe we're going to be testing out is no glue sticker slime. So this slime is supposed to make a very tiny slime. So today I have this little peachy babies sticker and I also have a ballpoint pen. And you're supposed to use a ballpoint pen that has no ink left in it. And right here I have this little Rilakkuma one which I got a really long time ago. And it is completely dried up and just is has no ink left in it and you are supposed to also get a little bit of water and a container and a sticker so that is all you need to make this no glue slime so starting off you just need your sticker this one came in a peachy babies package if you don't know peachy babies she has an amazing slime shop but starting off you just have to peel off your sticker and i kind of used the backing of the sticker to be able to hold the sticker without touching it because i didn't want to waste any of the sticky part of the sticker and it also just made it a lot more convenient but you're supposed to take your ballpoint pen i suppose you could use something like a toothpick but i think having a ballpoint pen makes this part a much lot easier because it is metal it doesn't really stick as much as maybe wood or like a fork would stick but basically you are supposed to make little squiggles on it which as you guys can see doesn't draw anything but it is supposed to kind of peel off the 
micro backing of the adhesive that is on the sticker i honestly don't know why this is supposed to do it but basically once we soak the sticker which is our next step is we're supposed to soak it in some water it is supposed to kind of make the backing of the adhesive come up and it's supposed to be like slime so we are just supposed to do a lot of little squiggles which is supposed to help with this step and i can't really explain it that well but when i was doing it i could totally kind of understand what we were doing because you can kind of feel like the backing come up but here you guys can see it a little bit better in the sunlight but we are supposed to just put this in a little container i have this tiny little bowl and then we're just supposed to add on a little bit of water and i honestly don't know which stickers work for this i just randomly picked this sticker which was in my studio and it was like kind of like a paper sticker but we are just supposed to put the sticker in a little bit of water and just let it soak, which I think I only let it soak for maybe like 30 seconds or so, so not long at all. But after a little bit of time, I just took the sticker out of the water and the water was completely clear still, it looked just normal, but the sticker, as you guys can see, it was soaked in the water. And, and I pulled out the sticker before I like checked out the sticker a lot. I kind of checked out the water just to see if it looked different, but it kind of looked the same. But when I started rubbing my fingers on the sticker, it actually pulled up into this little slime you guys can probably hear in the audio like my verbal like shock sound because i was so shocked that this did this but it actually pulled up into this like extremely stretchy like little adhesive slime which i was so shocked about it kind of pulled the sticker apart but as you guys can see left on my fingers was something that was very much like slime but very very tiny It was a very sticky slime, which I guess kind of makes sense because it was a sticker slime. But as you guys can see, we got this tiny little piece of what would totally probably, I think, feel like slime if it was in a big it was super stretchy but also it kind of like rips a little bit which makes it kind of seem not as much like slime but as you guys can see we only got a little bit but i was just kind of shocked that this was like slime I also somehow I think maybe like set down my little slime and kind of checked out the sticker a little bit more because there was even more slime on it which I don't know if you guys can see but it totally kind of like peels up when you touch the sticker I don't know if I'm explaining that properly and we got like more slime which was very shocking to me I didn't have any more stickers in my studio, so I had went downstairs and did this with a couple more paper stickers that my family had downstairs, and this is what I got. As you guys can see, a lot more slime, which I used these sticker sheets that I think came in the mail from free in like some sort of advertisement or something, and this is what I got. So technically, this slime right here was free, and also the Peachy Baby slime was also free, so here we have it, a free slime. So if you ever get a free sticker, definitely try this. I don't know if it works with all stickers, because I think all stickers can be kind of made differently, but this whole recipe worked really well for me, so this was a success. Your loose MSP we are going to be testing out is cotton ball cloud slime. So we are going to see if this Basically, works. Basically, we are supposed to start off by splitting the cotton balls in two pieces just so that they are in like full form. And apparently the cotton from the cotton balls is supposed to basically help with our cloud slime. So after a while of splitting the cotton balls up, I got quite a bit of cotton balls split up in my container and then we were supposed to add in some water as well as a little bit of shampoo and a tiny little bit of hair gel we're only supposed to add a little bit of the hair gel because if you add too much it will dry up your slime but just a small quantity will help make our slime very thick even if you don't have a shampoo that it activates a ton because once sat it is supposed to get thicker so basically we also added in a little bit of salt and this is what i got you guys can kind of see on the bottom there's a little bit of shampoo and also our cotton balls which were the cotton just split cotton and when i mixed it up it totally kind of felt like either a 
jelly slime or a cloud slime it was very dense because the cotton was kind of still a little bit like long fibers but when i would mix it up it got like more inflated in and normal cloud slime of course they use instant snow and instant snow is small granules and so cotton balls kind of have a long strands so i mixed it up a lot and it was kind of inflating and getting more sizzly which was exciting for me except for some of the cotton was too long to like turn into cloud slime so i decided to add in a little bit more cotton balls and i also took some scissors and i tried to cut the slime up and this helped so much it got so much more drizzly and the more i did it the more drizzly the texture was and it was so cool to see that you can kind of make a cloud slime dupe using cotton balls which kind of makes sense because cotton balls are kind of like little clouds but this recipe was a success and last but not least, for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, this week I have gotten so many requests to test out this hand sanitizer slime recipe, so we are going to be testing it out right now. So for this recipe, you are going to be needing a PVA mesh and hand sanitizer. With COVID, obviously, everybody has been stocked up on hand sanitizer, hopefully, so I have gotten a lot of requests and people asking if I could find a hand sanitizer recipe, and recently I've seen this one, and basically what it says is if you take PVA mesh and shake Take it up with hand sanitizer it will be able to activate into a slime once you put it in the fridge and so i added my pva mesh that i ordered off of amazon and i mixed it in the hand sanitizer as much as i could but i didn't think it was enough so i also added in some pva plastic bags as well and i shook that into the hand sanitizer but it wasn't really mixing in so i added a little bit of hot water and that did the trick everything dissolved except for it was a little bit murky so i added this all into my bowl and then I got some borax water activator and I added that in it to our hand sanitizer PVA mesh plastic bag mixture and it instantly of course activated into slime the PVA made the slime super thick and so it was easily overactivated and I got it super overactivated right away so I was a little bit nervous but I added in a little bit of boiling hot water in as well just to soften it up and this is what it looked like after clearing up for some reason I lost the clip of my self poking the slime out of the bowl after it cleared up but i used a funnel to put it into this hand sanitizer container and it looked really well and yes this recipe does work thank you guys all so much for watching and hanging out with me today i had a great time and if you did too and you're new to my channel or you aren't subscribed already make sure you are subscribed you guys can follow me on instagram at jshdiy for more behind the scenes and to learn a little bit more about me i love you guys so much and i will see you guys over on one of the videos up on the screen okay i'll see you guys over there bye guys what we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This